Today's video, uh, I'm going to discuss uh, not only the Constitution, but uh, the First Amendment. The Constitution of the United States is the oldest written Constitution in the world. Uh, the U.S. Constitution is broken up into three main parts. The Preamble, the Seven Articles, and the 27 Amendments. When we look at the Constitution, we, we look at the, the Preamble and we see this most famous three words, We the People. We the people of the United States, in order to form a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, provide for the common defense, promote the general welfare, and secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity. Do ordain and establish this Constitution for the United States of America. That fam those famous words are known throughout the world of our Constitution. And when we talk about the Constitution, we must talk about no the Bill of Rights, the first ten amendments. And they were ratified along with the Constitution in June of 1788. What I want to focus on today is the First Amendment. The First Amendment say, states, Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion, or prohibiting the free exercise thereof, or abridging the freedom of speech or the press, or the right of the people to peacefully assemble and petition the government for addresses of grievances. The freedom of speech guarantees, restricts only the government action, not action by private employers, private owners, householders, churches, universities, and the like. Which means that there are certain things that our government cannot tell us we can't do, but our employers who we work for, the schools we go to, they have the right to uh, govern us a little bit more. The free speech guarantee also extends to any conduct that is conventionally understood as expressive. So, for instance, waving a flag, wearing an armband, or burning a flag, that's a right that Americans have. Now, there are a few ex uh, exceptions to free speech. Uh, incitements. We can't incite people to violence. We can't get you know, crowds rallied up and, and, and attack a, a group. Um, we cannot make or declare false statements of fact. Um, although, interestingly enough, the uh, certain... Um, political campaigns do not fall under these exceptions. Uh, there are obscenity uh, laws, there are child pornography, threats of violence. These are not protected. Uh, speech owned by others and even some commercial advertising um, are exceptions to free speech. In other words, that there are certain laws that we look at and say, okay, we're not going to allow these certain things to occur. Speaking about freedom of speech as expressive actions, when it comes to things like flag burning, it is protected, and this was upheld by the Supreme Court in Texas versus Johnson in 1989. I bring this up as recent activities surrounding the singing of our national anthem. During the singing of our national anthem, it is expected that one stands out of respect for the flag, what represents the United States as, as a nation, and those who fought to defend our freedoms. People have that right to, not to stand. While I do not agree with how they're expressing their discontent, they do have that right. However, that right is not protected um, by the NFL players, or it's not protected for the NFL players. Because they work for a private employer, the NFL owners can make those players stand, or if they choose, they could fire them for not doing so. And that would not be protected, because we see that right there in the First Amendment, not protected for private employers. It will be interesting to see how these things and events play out the next few months. My personal belief is that we stand out of respect and find other means to seek out attention to fight for social injustices.